In the previous episode, we crafted a good two-handed fox, sieged down another rebellion in Batania lands, fought off several noble parties and bandit parties during the siege camp setup, took Carbanseth and fixed security and loyalty issues to avoid rebellion. Sanon rebelled and we're in the process of taking it right now. This is, this is the worst. Oh my god, they're finally running. Alright, that one's done. That was really easy. We'll take him prisoner and hopefully we have enough HP. We got three out of the four. So assuming the fourth one doesn't come out of the woodworks right now, we should be all right. We'll be at like 40. Yeah, not even 40. And we'll take Terror. We can make him flee sooner. And let's check on Carbanseth. Yeah, it's stalled out at 46, so we're good. All right, here we go. Batanian volunteers, some art. Uh, what is that? Some cav. We'll start with the javelins. Take out these cav and then we'll switch. That's done. Let's switch over to archery. Start to flee. Can't let him out. They'll go back to the garrison. Oh, actually, no, they won't because they're not. They weren't in the, This is the separate party. Alright, we got it. That's all four. I think your luck is right. Yeah, they like immediately escaped. Hired some prisoners, or hired some troops and then attacked. Don't know about all that. I give up, completely give up. This guy's just unreal. Alright, that's it. We got 10 archers to deal with, but they're fleeing. We'll take him back into the prison hold. We're, we're missing one. I'm sure he'll show up in a minute. Let's, uh, let's rush this right side. already. It looks like we can get in here. Yeah, but I don't know if there's a good spot. That's a lot of people. Let's try and get some cover. Oh, that's a dead end. Just stopped. So it seems seems like we got a safe spot right here for now. We gotta do with some archers. Oh man, they really. Yeah, he's pre-aimed already. Wow. Gotta take this nice and slow. Forgot to switch my loadout too. I should have brought my shield. But maybe it wouldn't have been a good idea. We need a lot of ammunition for this one, it looks like, before we can even move. Can't even see him because there's so many dead bodies piling up. It's funny, they like got this sixth sense. So 
soon as they sense me aiming, they snap around. Right, that's most of them on this side, I think. Okay, they still got a few, but we can pick up some arrows at least. Yes, I can't see. It's really hard to see. Alright, let's back up and just do it from here, I think. Yeah, we can get real precise here. Oh, oh, maybe. Alright, that might have been everybody. Yeah, so they're gonna send reinforcements. Let's grab some arrows. Wait, what? The air barrel? Yeah, there's arrows up here, so we can we can hang out right here. Take out the reinforcements. Oh boy, I gotta be real careful though. That's tough. That's really tough. Man, how many people are in there? <laughs> Wow. I can't tell if there's anybody in there. I'm just shooting. <laughs> I think that might be it or most everybody. Now we got to deal with people on the platform. 64 archers left. We can hit a lot of them from here. You know, why don't we switch sides? Because they seem to need a few seconds to reset. And it's going to waste a lot of time if we don't. So we let one side chill out. And we go to the other side. So on. Oh, that's not. Maybe we deal with these guys first then. They seem to be wanting to shoot us from a distance. I think we'll just go to another side if they if they aim it. They hold their aim for a while, so we'll just wait. Oh man, how are we getting shot? I think it was from over. It could be from all of no, those are shields. And it, good thing is there's um there's those fire pots that should help a lot when we're dealing with the, the shield walls. Thirty one archers. I think they have another spot over there somewhere because this doesn't look like thirty one right here. Nice that they instantly react, so I don't have to guess if if I can aim or not. They're like telling me that they can aim. <laughs> Like, if they can shoot at me, I can shoot at them. We just use that info. And actually, before we take the last guy out right there, let's take all of these guys out. I don't want them to split. Because these are easier shots. Not that either one's difficult, but we can contain it. So we'll take the last shot here first. And then this guy. Where's the archers? Oh, there's two archers in there, so. There's one. Try to get better angles on this thing. Okay, that's two. <laughs> that's two archers. There is one archer left, and he's all the way down there. So let's go deal with him real quick. And then we just gotta worry about getting surrounded. There's a lot of stuff to throw here. It says he's somewhere down here. I don't know if he's stuck in the wall. Oh, yep, he's, well, not quite the wall, but sort of. A bad place to fall down, man. <laughs> Good thing that's not us. All right, they got 64, 63. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's go back up to where the fire pots are. There are actually a lot of them everywhere. Yeah, we can just bury them back and forth. I don't know how we're going to get them in there. Yeah, look at that. Man, so many bodies. don't know how we're going to get the fire pots over here. We're going to have to ferry them back and forth. It might just be faster to do it like this. Let's get the uh, ground floor angle. Can't really see that well. It's kind of dark in there. I'm just shooting at shapes. They're starting to retreat a little bit, which is good. We haven't had anybody retreat yet. This guy's going to be easy. Yeah, no cowards. No brave either. These guys aren't so... Specifically no cowards. It's just... It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Yeah, we could aggro them... And then just bait them out. Oh, we gotta get arrows. There's only three left in there. Uh, 
there was one more. No? Oh, he's he fell down. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave him and then we're gonna shoot him from the walls. Because if we if we shoot that guy, they're gonna they're gonna be moving across the thing. I'd rather them just not move to deal with him at the very end. Actually, let's take a fire pot. How do we get there? <laughs> Actually, is there let's see if there's a fire pot ammo supply up here. No. Oh, they're moving. Sure what they're doing, but they're definitely moving around. It looks like they are rotating people around them around the map. They may not have much of a choice. We have to go hunt. Oh, you know what? Are they fleeing? They might be fleeing. Shoot. Maybe you get shots on them. Oh man, I'm a bad shot. See if we can shoot him over here. I just missed everything. All right, let's go refill. Yeah, they're going to have some people get out, but not that many. We should be all right. Yeah. They're actually committing to it this time. Interesting. They don't usually do this. Oh boy. Nope, they're running back. Except for those guys. Yeah, it wouldn't be that big of a deal if they chased us, but it would take a lot longer. Three, four more. Oh, there's some people outside. For some reason. <laughs> that poor guy got, he got shut out. That guy, look like he's aiming. No, it's a dead guy. He died in a position that looks like he's aiming. But there is a single spearman left. I don't see him on the map, so he's probably close to us. Oh, yep, yeah, there he is. Let's see if we can shoot through his his quantum tunneling. <laughs> he's trying to quantum tunnel. 219 renown. Yeah, it makes sense for 246 kills. We did get two medicine out of it. Uh, we will. Yeah, let's let's take the troops because we can throw them in the garrison right away. Show mercy, and again, we have to stay here. Oh, you know what? This place is in pretty good shape. Forms is already maxed, so we're going to be getting a lot of bonus from this. I think maybe 50k should be enough. And these villages have been beat. Some of them beat the hell. This one's okay at 400, but 60, 100, 123. So they're, they're pretty bad shape. But let's let's stay here, get the bonus, so it's not starving anymore. We need to we need to join somebody like right now because we're we're going to be wasting influence. Right, it is not starving. Paragon is going to take actually a really long time. Let's just leave it in a festival in games. Get this thing not rebelling and then we'll, we'll deal with it. I think Sturgia has to be next. He's part of Gundaraving. They only own two fiefs. So that would be perfect. And we can control the wars, I think. He's at Nivyansk, which is up here. I was going to say it's yep, up near the Batania lands. So it's really good. There we Oh, we're overburdened. Oops. And we have troops. Why do we have troops? Because I forgot to put them in. Let's do that. Put those guys in. And we should be good. Let's go join. Man, they're having like a convention here or something. There he is. Wait, why are we... Oh, because I didn't sell. I didn't sell stuff. I'm an idiot. Well, we don't need it anyway, so let's just dump everything. Yeah, we're, we're still making good money. 25k. Yours is not so, enter services. We're going to become one of your... Oh. Okay, let's go ahead and join. Bezos' wet dream team joined the Principality of Sturgia. He looking like a boss, Ragnvad, but he just don't know yet. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know what's about to hit him. Yeah, we'll see about that. Now, first and foremost, we need to deal with policies. So there's some in here that aren't going to be good, like the ruler clan. Oh, actually, yeah. Well, no wonder he's got eight thousand influence. He's been saving up since the beginning of the game with stuff like this. Uh, luckily, nobody cares enough to vote, so we can easily outvote him on these. Let's just deal with a couple of these votes. <laughs> Immediately, he's like, uh-oh, what did I just do? What did I get myself into? So we probably want to get rid of anything that gives other clans a plus one influence. So let's get... Well, it's only 0.5 actually in this case. This is a typo. But either way, we don't want anybody getting any influence. Tier 5 clans and higher losing one influence, that's fine. Sediment loyalty decreasing. We definitely don't want that. That's a, a big no-no. 
Influences the rural clan reduced by one. That's good. Tier five clans gave gain 0.5. Oh, they all want this one. So Lord Privy Council, everybody feels passionate about. There's no way we're going to get through that unless we burn through most of our influence. So let's not deal with that. Feudal inheritance is good for us. Don't really care about the money. Serfdom. Yeah, these are all good. Bailiffs is going to be good for us as well. We don't have to vote it because they'll do it for us. And also Council Commons. This is going to be a big one. So again, nobody cares enough to vote. We can outvote him very easily. And he's spent, I mean, he's spending some influence too, so it's not like a complete loss for us. No, we need the loyalty votes. A lot of people are opposed to that, unfortunately. What about Tribunes of the People? Yeah, he's the only one that cares about that one. So we can get plus one in loyalty, at least. That's going to help some. And we got rid of the minus one, so that's a two net increase. Security increase, that'll help Bailiffs, but unfortunately everybody hates it. So, yeah, let's not, let's not mess with that. We could increase loyalty by 0.5, decrease hearth growth. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't think there's anything else we really need to do until we can pass forgiveness of debts. Uh, you know, trial by jury is actually really good too. Oh, that's close, but not quite. So we'll have to wait on that. All right, let's get back to our town. We got Sanon and Carbansis to worry about. So loyalty should be going up pretty good here. Uh, we don't, yeah, well, sort of. We need to get the other, the next level of fairgrounds, and then we can upgrade the rest of these things. But I think just leaving it on irrigation, we should be okay loyalty-wise, I think. Security, we don't have any issues there. Yeah, so we should be good. Let's wait here for a minute. New owner of Carbenseth. That is our fief. Why are they giving away our fief? That makes no sense. Why would they give away our fief? I didn't vote for... I'm really confused right now. Why would they give away our fief? I mean, we have a lot of fiefs, but that doesn't mean that they can just vote them away. Did they... Maybe somebody voted to take it away? No, because there has to be a vote. Like, if you want to take somebody's fief, you can propose. Yeah, like, you can propose like this. Well, we can't... We don't want to give away, but... But there's a vote for it, and then there's a second vote afterwards to see who it goes to. So that should not be a thing. Why is that... Why the heck are they giving away our fief? I mean... As long as it doesn't go to Ragnvat, I guess it's not that big of a deal. But the pro problem is, it's going to affect our influence gain. And that means we can't build it up the way we want to. Actually, maybe we can. Let's go Let's go get a building queue. Vote for declaring war in Vlandia. That's not very smart. Actually, that's fine. Yeah, we don't really border Vlandia as much. We get a little bit down here. Uh, let's let the Vlandian war go through. They, oh man, look at how much influence they spend. So now we can really burn influence. So we got a bunch of money already set up in here. Let's... I don't know if they keep the same queue that the player has. I'm really hoping they do. So let's get Fairgrounds and Forum. And then just... I mean, everything needs to get upgraded, so it doesn't really matter. We put enough money in here. By the time we get it back, it'll probably be through all this queue, assuming the AI goes off of this, but maybe they don't. And yeah, we did put a garrison here, so that's fine. Rote, Jomatis, they both have a pretty good garrison. Rote has 350, and Jomatis has... Oh, actually, Jomatis isn't that, that well defended. So we might need to be careful there, although there are some beasts closer that I feel like we'll probably get attacked first. That's okay. Let's, let's go to Sanon. Now, one thing we could do is start disbanding armies, depending on who's got the most influence. Let's see who's got the influence here. I'm not too worried about the smaller ones. It's really the big guys, especially if Ragnvad, if he makes an army, we got to disband it immediately because we need to burn his influence. Vejaving would be a decent one, but I don't think that's theirs. No, it's not theirs. Now there's the second. But yeah, it's this guy. He's barely got 1100, so that's, I think that's fine. It's not going to be an issue. Well, I guess, wait, minus 10. We're not getting raided. I'm not sure why our food went down. Yeah, we just lost. We lost a town. I, I, I That's really bizarre. I don't know why I did that. Legeta rebelled. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it wouldn't rebel if we were able to actually pass policies. Actually, that wasn't ours. No, that was... That was Vlandia. <laughs> so maybe they'll take that back from the rebellion. That's fine. Actually, this place doesn't need a whole lot. It does need to be guarded, though. Let's go ahead and throw some garrison in there. Actually, we can probably go collect some troops here. Yeah, we can go collect some Batanian archers, hopefully some Fians. All right, Asari declare war. That's not good. So what we'll do here is if we start getting raided or sieged, that's when we need to 
blast all of our influence out and just stop Carbanseth as being sieged, which I guess would have been our problem if we didn't give it away. And another war, wow. Everybody's declaring war. I mean, it, not too much of a surprise because we border everybody, so it's kind of expected. Yeah, now's the time. We, I mean, we already, we're already we gaining 100 a day. This is crazy. Almost 100 a day, so this is pretty crazy. Now, the priority, we need to go to peace with Asurai and Kazait. I think going to war with Landia is fine. That's not a big deal. We can manage that. But these two fronts, they're just going to ignore and we'll end up losing most of our thieves. So we need to go to peace here. Yeah, Ragenvad's in there. A lot of the big boys are in there, and they're doing heavy voting. That's 150 a pop. We have more than half of what he has, so we should be able to control these. We'll just burn everything. Let's just keep voting. All right, one person already dropped off. Seems like the peace and war votes, they tend to go a little bit harder on. Like, I've noticed some policy votes, even if they have a lot of influence, they'll only throw, like, one or two strength vote on it. But when it comes to war, they'll pretty much do the max up to a certain limit, and then they'll scale down to two and three. Like, when they get to around, like, three or four hundred, they'll scale back to a tier two vote. And then when they get down to, like, 150 or something, they'll scale it back to a tier one vote, something like that. But these guys have a lot, so we've got a lot to burn through. Yeah, they're kind of taking turns who who does the, the tier 3 vote. Alright, they're starting to drop off now. There's only two people doing tier 3 votes. And plus two, so they lost one. Once we do this, we can also pass the policy. That should help quite a bit. They're down to only a single tier 3 vote, so that's Ragenvad. And he's... 6k. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine here, I think. Assuming he doesn't downgrade his to a tier 1. Actually, they're plus 1. These guys are all tier 1 votes now. Yeah, no plus 1. They're down to 5 people. So, most of the kingdom have dropped off. They've lost all their influence. Yeah, we should be good. No more tier 2 votes, so it's all tier 1. It's just a matter of time before these guys drop off as well. Yep, there's one. So only three people left. <laughs> One person left. You're by yourself now, Ragenbad. Once we do that, that means we should be able to do peace with the other one as well. Vashorki. How much influence does Vashorki have? I don't even know which clan they're part of. I don't see him in the top three or four. No, he's hanging in there, though. Oh, that's it. Okay, we got piece. Oh, he overrid it. So how much influence did that cost him? Let's try it again. 4176. So 4176. It should be more than the 150. No, it's it's exactly the 150. Okay, so that actually burned a lot of our influence trying to out outvote him. I guess because it's a tie, he doesn't have to spend extra influence to do that. But it's not a big deal. Like I said, we need half to burn his influence and then once he drops that to a tier two then we're good to go we just force the peace interesting though usually the peace the, the tie goes towards the person who started the vote 2800 or 1600 it's getting kind of close but i think once he gets to a certain threshold he's going to drop that support to a two and then we can just outvote him so we shouldn't have to go down to zero, but we may have to. It's not a big deal. We just drain it, build it back up because we're making so much. But he's still going strong. <laughs> Come on, Ragamed. Right, we're getting down to almost a less than a thousand here, so he should be pretty much tapped out. Yeah, 1900. He's just about tapped. It would be nice if he did it soon so that we can have some influence to do our policy votes too. Right, we're down to 10 votes. We can do exactly 10 votes. And he's got actually almost as much as us, so he definitely can't keep up. We we can we can outpace him at this at this rate. No, he's still doing it. He's gonna go down with the ship, it looks like. Oh, there it is. So peace with Asurai. The problem is we're gonna need at least 300. So let's let let's let one tick go by so we can go to peace with Kazate. There we go. 
There might be people to vote in on this too, though, which would suck. Yeah, there's one. Ty would go to them, so we need to do it again. Let's not take a chance. Let's wait an extra day. There's a lot of people in this one, though. That is brutal. All right, we're gonna try it. There's still two more, two new people. Wow, so they're getting, they're getting quite a bit of influence per day that we're gonna have to overcome. 376. All right, we have to wait another day. We're, so far, no sieges though, so we're good. All right, now we still got. This is gonna be tough, man. Because they're all just getting, yeah, they're getting enough. They're getting enough to throw 20 influence in. There's no way they can get 20 influence a day. Carbanseth has already fallen. Wow, you idiots. I guess we would have fallen if we had it too, but I still want to call them idiots. <laughs> yeah, they're all chipping in. 20 influence a day. Is that, Are they really making that much? We've got like... We have 35. The next closest is 3. So let's say they just, at most, they're making 10%. They're making 9 a day. At most. We're getting more supporters. Yep, our support's going up. Let's keep going, man. Tyal is being sieged. That's not ours. We don't want to lose it anyways, because it will be ours soon, so... Come on. Nope, there's... They still got influence. I think maybe what we need to do is go fight some stuff. We need to get influence the old-fashioned way. That is a very large army. Oh, there's three of them. There's more than 3,000 units right there. If they go for Sanon, we're screwed. Which it looks like that's what they might be doing. Oh, but don't worry, they took a castle in the south. Yeah, they did. They did take a castle. Actually, that might be, that might be to our benefit because these guys are everybody's spending a ton of influence. But maybe we can sneak one by. We still need three hundred, so we can outvote. We may, you know, we may have to, we may have to vote for peace with Landia first, or we risk losing the fief. Oh, these idiots. Well, he's down to one. Actually, if everybody's out, that means we only need sixty to overcome. So let's try it again. No, nope, they still have a lot. But that's fine. That means next 75 and 60. No, we can do it. We can do it. Unless, I was going to say, assuming there's less than... There's still two people that are hanging on. All right, so that doesn't work. We needed the 150 there. Well, even then, we might not have been able to do it. All right, we just need to hang on. All right, let's not, let's not get stuck in there. Actually, you know what? We might have to do it. We just might have to try it. Come on, influence. <laughs> Come on, influence. But you can't do it while you're in a siege. Well, that's not good then. Well, if we can hold here, that would be an incredible feat. We do have four, four Onager. So the question is, do we risk doing the siege in person? Because if we do the siege in person, they would have... And we kill these two. They only have one set of ladders to go up. We can defend that all day long. If we don't get the two, we're screwed. I got to think about that. I think it's worth the risk. We just, we really need to kill these two and then we're in good shape. Now, where are the Onager? So they're pretty close. We can't really move them around, so it doesn't do any good to do that. But I think we're in good shape here. These look like really good positions for the Onager to take out the siege equipment. And I think that means the ladders, yeah, the ladders are only on this side. So we're going to go over to the left and that's going to be our best chance here. Let's, we should probably keep our, our mount. We gotta stay on this side. So we can monitor. Oh, there's one. All right. Siege tower's down. Now we just got to get the the battering ram. All right, let's start picking off archers because that's going to be the only thing that's going to damage us at this point now. Assuming we can take out the, the ram. All right, can we slow the ram down? We got to try and take out the people pushing it. Maybe it'll get paused. Oh, it's gone. All right, perfect. All right, we don't need the horse. I don't think we're gonna need the horse because we just need to get a good angle on these guys as they come up. An angle that we can get to easily. Also, we need an arrow barrel. There's one right here. Perfect. Actually, we... I think we can just stay here. This is covered. Oh, why is he going down the ladder? <laughs> He is uh, an overachiever. All right, headshots. There's a noble. Yep, Thavin. 
Right, that's our boy coming back up. He's like, nah, maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> that's so funny. I wish I wish they would push that ladder back. Alright, there's another boy coming back. Oh, they're falling off, that's why. I know one guy did go down there on his own, but these guys are kind of falling off. There goes a the dead body. There's another one jumping off. Yeah, they keep pushing themselves. They should just chill out. Like, they'll get here when they get here. Actually, we can speed by this. <laughs> oh, they're retreating. Wow, they, they know they don't have a chance. That sucks, man. We didn't even get that many kills. That should have been huge, and it wasn't. It's good that we defended, but... We'll at least take some prisoners. Actually, now that I think about it, do we get... Well, we can sell all this stuff, that's fine, but... Do we get to capture anybody, or does their army just go away? The army disbands, but they're mostly intact. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We need to smash that army. That's what needs to happen. Alright, a little bit of money from there. Let's drop the... Drop all these people off. We can still boost the garrison here. 173 is pretty good. Okay, crisis averted there. There's two big Sturgeon armies coming here, so that's not a bad thing. And we did get some influence, so we can definitely vote for peace. Let's actually just do the peace with Kazate. There's no good that's going to come from that. Oh, these idiots. Yeah, we need to. We need enough to be able to vote with three, a tier three vote. So we're just going to have to wait another day. We need to get out there and fight, but we need to make sure that we can defend what we got, like we just did. Like, if we, if we weren't there, that wouldn't happen. That would have been a for sure loss. And I don't think we're taking on 100 Vlandians. This 72 we can do, but the problem is he's getting back up. Let's keep working on Kazate. They, you know what it is? There, there are also some people are getting influence from these little battles. Oh, here we go. We can bait this guy out. Yeah, we can bait him out now. Let's go ahead and deal with the cav first, just a set of javelins. I don't really feel like doing archery against them. Yeah. Alright, not ideal. I get so used to the arrows, I forget how slow these things are to, to release. Like, from the time you actually let go of, of the button to charge it, so the time it actually releases is probably three, two or three times longer. And it definitely trips me out. User error, but, you know. That won't stop me from complaining about it. Here we go. Alright, cavern down. We got ten shots left. Let's just burn it on these guys. Where we're gonna get killed. They have another cab there. Stick out the cab. That's... Yep, that makes sense. There we go. Alright, we're good. We got 13 kills. That's 8 cav and then whatever else. You know, I think we still do the melee. Let's do the melee build. That seems to work out pretty well. And we don't need... Actually, we only took two stacks of jabs, so we can take two more. Let's just take one. And yeah, they're in a pretty nice open field here. Let's try and keep them there. Right, let's deal with the crossbows first. Here we go. Back. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. These... One thing that I've learned is when you get to a certain range, these guys do not miss. The, uh... The javelin throwers, like this guy right here, right there, no big deal. But there are certain situations where they just have 100% accuracy. Like right there wasn't it, because we're still kind of moving. But if we were coming in to hit somebody, it would be 100%. Let's go after that high tier archer. There we go, PM champion. That was the big boy. Now we just got a couple crossbows, and then there's not really any other threat. Right, one more crossbow. Let's throw our javelins because we got them anyways. See if we can get as many shields out as we can. 
Oh, we got a... Got one of these guys, anyways. That's that. I would like to get some two-handed, but I don't know that there's a good way to do it without taking a ton of damage. We have a little bit of HP to play with. Let's just try it. Do you want to get two-handed XP? Yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough to get in there. I think two-handed axe would have been fine just because we get a little extra range. But this is a this is a tough one. Actually, if we get them on the edge, if we draw them out and just for their like single file. Seems like you can snag one. Even that one works. Get a little more range on the side. So it doesn't seem like it matters what melee weapon you have. You can it can be done. It's definitely the safest with the long pole arm, but it is doable with any of them. Draw them out slower. Now oh, taking a lot of damage. All right, here we go. This is probably where we'll be able to get get a little more effectiveness in. Just got to be a little better with the blocking. Just fine. I don't want to get too lazy. And what happens sometimes if if you have situations where you don't have to block? Then when you get back to where you have to block, <laughs> your blocking skill is like taking a huge hit. Kind of like you, you don't lose it, you you lose it. with that guy. That guy's got blunt damage. So we'll get a swing and then get out quick. Yeah, getting bonked on the head by that guy. Even though he's a volunteer, that could be devastating. It's kind of hard to aim the block on the horse. Pretty well. Yeah, it's definitely risky to use two-handed sword on this. At least this this one. Maybe it's just too short. Maybe hit and run tactic kind of come in so that you can only possibly get hit by one person, and that's the person you're attacking. So they're either gonna get killed. Or you're only going to get hit by one person at most. They're running. Oh man. Yeah, I got. I killed the guy in front, and the guy in the back had his attack lined up at exactly that moment. Alright, this is not working out too well. What if we get off the horse? They're still running? Nope, they want to. No, they really want to fight. So they only retreat if I'm mounted. <laughs> right, let's just finish them off. I don't really want to go down to zero. Right, now we can do it. Alright, 
we got him. All right, pretty good battle. Fair play, gentlemen. We got a lot of two-handed on that. 36 levels. Yeah, we'll catch that up pretty quick. 35 influence. It's not a lot, but we do need the help. This next perk, we can take extra hit points or speed bonus damage while we're two-handed on foot. Obviously, we're taking the, the hit points. That's a no-brainer. The next one is really important. Actually, I didn't even think of this. We should have probably done two-handed first of all the skills. Well, besides bow. Because this one's going to give us armor pen. With I, I, I don't know if they fixed it, but it, if that's the case, it could work with arrows too. Which means we should have no problem one-shotting everybody. All right, this guy's really close to catching him, so let's just help. Stop. He's got mostly cav and ranged. So I feel like we'll probably do better on a, a ranged build here. Just start picking off archers if we can. Oh, these aren't the archers. That's fine. Gotta watch out for their cab though. If we get couch lance, it's gonna be GG. Oh, they're right next to us. Jeez. I didn't even realize that. Let's not get shot by a bunch of crossbows here. Let's back out. Uh, across the way, starting to turn on us. What's ours? Man, that scared me for a sec. I thought maybe we were getting snuck up on. Uh, we pretty much single-handedly decimated their, their range units. Oh, that's... Oh, he's on the other hill. Like an optical illusion. <laughs> right, they're done. There we go. We killed 42 out of 118. Almost half. So we got a little bit out of it. Another 522 coming. That should be no problem. But let's go back. We gotta sell some stuff anyways. These woodland jav seem to be better than these. But uh, you know what? The missile speed's really good on that. They're better than the horsemen. So let's at least get three of them and replace these horsemen javelins. So now we use... Harpoon, 31 missile speed is really good. 29 missile speed is better than the other one at least. And in the off chance that we ever need to use civilian gear, there's a few upgrades in here. They all fell, unfortunately. I think we can actually do it this time if they don't have a ton of support. No, they still have a lot, man. Where are these guys getting this influence from? It's only two, but he's going to outvote it. No, he's not. Okay, we can actually tie and, and take it. Right, so Kazates are out of the picture. We can just focus on, yeah, on Vlandia and maybe take in Legetta back. Well, Carbanseth. Yeah, we need to take a few things back here. Now, one thing I am curious about, let's see if we can pass some of these. They're giving us the debts. Nobody cares. Yeah, they're too preoccupied with the other stuff. So we'll also spend, let's spend it on trial and jury. Oh, I already passed that. Yep, that's right. So we can do the minus one influence. They were also, I think, Lord Privy. Yeah, Lord Privy Council. We need to get rid of that. They were really adamant about keeping that. See how they feel about this. Oh, they're still very much invested in keeping that one, man. Look at how much they're spending. So, uh, Asurai's getting up in here, too. Look at this. They're everywhere. They snaked all the way up. Right, looks like we got Astro Castle back. Yeah, a lot of votes. That's what we need to see. Everybody needs to burn through all their influence, and we need to get into some battles. So this 800, I'm kind of curious where they're going to end up. See, we're not getting anything else sieged. These guys are probably going to go siege down Pen Canuck, so we can just focus on defense, maybe. 25 calves sounds painful. Let's just leave that alone. Actually, you know what? We have four sets of javelins. We could deal with that, but let's maybe do it during the day. Oh, this 92 wants to help. Oh, boy. Yeah, that 837 is going to come back. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? They just walked right into it. All right, they're pretty even. Let's let this 91 get in here as well. Yeah, now they've got the advantage. You know what? I think I would rather use this opportunity. We'll, we'll still keep the bow. Yeah, we'll keep the bow. Let's go one stack of, of arrows and then the fox. I don't think we need to use the pole arm. They get a couple horse archers. We just need to get behind and then we can destroy with the two-hander. That is a lot of cavalry. 247. Holy crap. All right, let's not get... <laughs> let's not get lost in the sea of their massive cavalry division. That's ours. 
Gotta try and catch these guys when they're retreating. Here we go. This is getting a little sketchy. Let's get back. Oh, we can't. That bridge is off limits. Oh, we're keeping the archers busy. They're not shooting at... <laughs> they're, they're all shooting at us as a solo. And they're leaving the whole army alone. It's funny. Let's put the brakes on and get behind this guy. Yeah, look at that. Their archers won't move. All right, we can get some kills here. Holy crap. Yeah, that's what I was mostly concerned about. Should be able to get some meaningful damage in here. Yeah, going wild with the two-hander. Look at this thing. I wish it was longer, but... Story of every man's life. Oh, wait, we're playing Galadriel. What am I talking about? <laughs> Galadriel. There we go. We gotta get the high value targets because they give a lot of XP. That's a noble. Definitely want to get the noble. Alright, this is turning into a slaughter. They're just getting stomped. I think they're, yeah, their cav have problems because they ran into a big wall. Right, we're gonna run into a bunch of archers here, which could be a problem. We could take a few hits, but let's not get hit too many times. Alright, their guard cav, yeah, reinforcements are coming, so. We can just go wild on these guys. Just go down the line. Just destroy people. Ruin their day. Oh, the horses. <laughs> Horse wants to get in on it. Right, some people are shooting at us, but not too bad. Let's not go too far down, because we're by ourselves down here. There's other targets they could pick off. If we stay up here, rather than- if we go all the way down, they're just gonna be shooting at us the whole time. Oh, are we by ourselves? Okay, there's nobody here now. That's... That's not good. Let's get back across the river so we don't get lectured off and killed. I don't think we need to dismount here. Yeah, we, we can't really go behind their line. What do we got? 49 kills is pretty good. Let's protect against the stray arrows. If we get, if we can get some cav on their side, then I'll feel better about going there. But we're just pushing through them. Yeah, they're about to fall. All right, let's get in range. There's a few cav, but there's probably not enough to come back here and justify doing this. All right, here we go. Now we can do it. Yep, the army's coming. High value targets, we can pick them out, but really it's just whatever we can get our hands on. Or our falcs. <laughs> whatever we can get our falcs on. Ooh, barely juke that one. Alright, this is a fun battle, man. I'm glad I joined this one. We probably won't get a ton of stats from it, but it was fun. And we need the XP for two-handed. Alright, feeling pretty good here. 
Yep, I think that's pretty much it. They're they're all wiped out. Okay, we got 67, almost 10%. That's a lot. 27 levels. We almost hit 250. Yeah, we need to hit 250. We got some people we can donate. So at least we'll have Vandal. We can ignore armor when we attack. That's going to make a big difference. I don't know if it's worth it actually going back all the way to donate them. You know, we could do to we could donate it to Aster. This this place needs some help. It's a recent conquest. Donate prisoners and some troops. And they've got only 27 garrison. That's going to be tough. But we need to heal a little bit if we can find some, maybe some peasants. Oh no, we lost an army. All right, we got a decent amount of influence. Let's spam Lord Privy Council since everybody's, it's like their hot button. Yeah, it's it's draining Ragambad pretty well. So she's speaking of which, how much influence? Oh, everybody's broke. We might have enough this time. No, they still have. Wow. Oh, that's a big army. All right. There are armies everywhere. This is kind of hectic. All right. A clan just got destroyed. Air gun. So eliminated clans. Man, look at that list. That's big. <laughs> I like to think we had a big part of a lot of that, but maybe not. So Astra's going to fall. At least it's distracting them. I don't know where these armies are. We don't have any armies at all. We've got that one that just was just created, but that's not going to last long. Took one out. Vildur is trying to solo siege that. It's equal numbers. That's really a bad idea. Oh, they're taking little parties out at least. We're getting a lot of buildings completed. We probably need to make another round trip to everybody. Well, you know what? We don't have armies because we drained all their influence. Yeah. That well, we wouldn't have to do that if they didn't make stupid decisions. But uh, it is what it is. All right. Let's, um, let's start saving up influence. I really do want to get rid of that policy though. That ha I mean, it's only a half, but it adds up. It's probably not worth it, though. Yeah, that's fine. You know what? Let's just let it go. I'm surprised that thing hasn't fallen yet. Let's we'll see what's going on. Oh, there it goes. But we can hunt these small parties. Do you have it? We only killed three, but it gave us the the noble. Kind of interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see the math behind what determines who gets the, the noble captures. It's definitely not who takes them down, because I've done that before. It might have an impact on it, but it's definitely not the only thing. Now, it says there's a better helmet, a warlord helmet. It's better by one. I do like the look of it more. So we'll go there. Right, we're at the point where we're going to min-max now. That thing is still it's still up. Pretty impressive. But here comes another 900. That's going to be tough. And I got a feeling they're going to go right for Sanon. Or Remtoil, actually. Maybe Remtoil instead. Oh, they're, they must have a bunch of low-tier units if they're running. No. I don't know what they were doing. They're like right on his butt. Oh, they're going to fight him now for sure. They got 800. No, nope, they're backing out. Uh, we got Legetha back. Hopefully it doesn't go to Ragambad. Nope, it doesn't. And they're spending influence. Beautiful. So we... Oh, you know, we can fight these guys. We just oh, need shit. to save up a little bit. <laughs> that was only 17 people. And it took like 95% of, of the health. That's that's really bad on my part. Oh, I'm a baddie. Get good. We got a little bit of time before this massive army comes, and we need to be ready for it. So let's go drop off a few more troops. Looks like that army backed off. No, they get in a big fight. We just lost a ton of units. We're going to lose Vernon. Aster is probably being sieged by a solo party. Yep, Gary topped. So he's probably going to get taken over right now. Wait, why do we have so many units? I forgot to drop them off, didn't I? I did. I'm an idiot. <laughs> right, let's go drop them off before I forget again. Well, that's unfortunate. We're gonna get we're gonna get attacked. We can't have troops in our party when we get attacked, so we just have to let him go. And we're still slow. Why are we so slow? Wow, he's fast because we have two prisoners. That's it's got to be the prisoners then. Point two seven, cavalry weather penalty. Okay, yeah, we're faster than him. That that made no sense. I was solo with no over encumbrance and no hurting penalty. How twenty four units can go faster than one? Little bit questionable. Let's go to Remtoil and drop these guys off so we can not be overburdened. There's another big battle. Did we lose? Been taken prisoner, yep. So Vlana took another one over. This should be a pretty easy battle for us. That's it. Didn't take nearly as much damage that time. That's good. Okay, here they come. Maybe. Nope. I'm not sure what they're gonna do here. I think he might be going down to Legetha. Which we get an army going down there too. So it might work out. Yeah, there's only 90 people in here. That's, well, they, they can't afford 
Yeah, they're actually firing the garrison. So I think maybe we saddle them with too much debt already with just one peace deal. If that's going to be the case, then we might need to do this a little sooner. Western Empire attack. They have nobody to attack really but us. Maybe Amatadis, but not really. It's pretty much just us. So let's go ahead and vote that down. And it might make sense to go ahead and downvote both wars. I don't think this is going to go our way, it looks like. Don't want to lose Legeta. We already lost Harbansith. And a few a few castles up here in Batania Land. So let's just get rid of this. Four or five votes, they pretty much ran out. All right, we got it. So we're starting out at about 700 influence. Actually, that reminds me. No. Nope. <laughs> They really, really don't want to get rid of Lord Privy's council. They're, they'd rather save their influence instead of voting on wars. They'd rather vote on that. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, if we stay at peace, they don't have um, they don't have battles that they can get influence from, and we outpace them significantly on on influence gain from buildings and all that. So I think this is the better play. Two days. Let's hang out here. We'll get the bonus. There we go. So. Sanon is in really good shape. Well, we don't have much to do. It doesn't really make sense to go fight bandits to try and gain influence. It's just, it's going to be a tiny amount relative to how much we get each day. So I think we're better off just going, uh, we'll visit all our towns, make a loop. So we'll go south first. Let's go Rote. This one's looking like it's in pretty good shape. We just got a couple of level one buildings we need to pick up. All right, moving on, Jamaris. This is in rough shape, yeah. Prosperity is still recovering here, so let's just, again, we'll throw some money in here and let everything upgrade. We're actually losing money. I think a lot of that has to do with having huge garrisons in everything, which I wasn't initially intending to do. So I think what we'll do is let's just keep it in the towns. Let's go to all the castles as well, and we'll, we'll dump the garrisons there. That'll guarantee that we, are, we have a, a decent income. This one's capped. Oh yeah, that's right. Everything's good here. 400 militia is still pretty pretty good. Let's just get all the archers in there. We'll just leave that one alone. So that one's maxed. Yeah, actually, I think what we need to do is... Let's declare war on west. Everybody wants it anyways. Let's try and take those two last fiefs. And then that's one more kingdom we don't have to worry about later. So every time we have to solo, it just takes months. And that's you know, shaving years off our life. Or saving months off of our life. But we'll put them back. We'll keep the garrison for now. Let's keep going. I think most of those fiefs up there should be fine without us. I don't think the West can summon much of an army. Right, this one's good to go. Let's switch it over to train militia. volstrom has been done for a long time. <laughs> Look at how big these are. It's a thousand. A thousand hearths. Not bad. And then with train militia, they've got 600 militia. So looking good. Lavenia. Let's see. I think a lot of these should be in decent shape. Right, this one's looking pretty good. Still needs a wall upgrade, though. Right, let's go south first. And surprisingly, Tamna's done. It just needs a little more hearths. But honestly, it's probably not that big of a deal. We won't be coming back here for... Oh, no, there's a building. There's still one building. All right, let's get that upgraded. And I think we just switch it to train militia. Because we're going to be... Most likely, we're going to be dumping castle garrison soon. How's this one looking? Eight, six. This one's going to be there in a few days. Let's just go train militia now. All right, looking sharp. Listen, folk. We're getting raided. Which means they can't uh, they can't see just down. They, that's why they have to raid. Shibalzumer needs some work. Yeah, this one's still in pretty rough shape, but we can queue up some of these other things at least. Now, Hus and Folk's got the important stuff. Fairground and forums. Now we just gotta fill in the blanks. Let's make sure they have money. That the walls are gonna take a while. Right, that is looking good. Let's go north. All right, we got the last two important buildings here. So we got fairgrounds and forum. Let's get those two going. Actually, probably workshop forum and fairground. And then we can finish the rest around that. That one's in good shape. De declare war on Asurai. That's not going to happen. So we'll let them have their war. They spend the the influence on it. And then we're just going to immediately vote, downvote it. we got a lot of people not liking that. All right, there we go. Now we can outvote them. Took a few tries, but that's not a big deal. 